Uh, this is, I think, the Champions Cup first up, and just obviously confirmation of uh, the teams in order. Racing are top seeds, defending champions Toulon in second, Claremont third, Leinster fourth. They are the home sides. Bath uh, won their pool, so they are in fifth, and the three best runners up Northampton, Wasps, and Saracens. And the uh, teams will be going into the balls in a moment or two. But quarter final one is Racing Metro against Saris. Quarter final two is defending champions Toulon against twice winners Wasps. We have Northampton Saints in there who will be on the road to Claremont in quarter final three. And Leinster, three times champions, will take on Bath in the fourth of those quarter finals. Ties to be played the weekend uh, beginning of April. And uh, the balls will be coming out very shortly. So Ben Kay will be drawing. Uh, the first quarter-final, this will be for home country advantage in the semi-finals, and it is quarter-final two, which is Toulon and Wasps. So the winner of that tie will have home country advantage in the first of the semi-finals. Toulon have won at home. They were at home last year, of course, against Munster. They've done it away as well, and that was obviously against Munster two years ago. But Wasps know they have a massive carrot to play for if they can be the first side to win at Stade Felix Mayol. And away from home, it will be Leinster or Bath. So Bath now have got a really, really tough run to the final. Two away trips for them. And the treat for Leinster, if they can be victorious at home in the uh, fourth quarter final, is a trip to Toulon, where they haven't enjoyed a huge amount of success uh, in recent visits. So that is the first of the semi-finals. Uh, the second quarter finalist winning quarter finalist to have home country advantage quarter final three is quarter final three and that is Claremont against Saints so potentially we are looking yeah as I had a Claremont too long uh, for the two semi-finals Northampton will hope to spoil that of course but we've had uh, all French final what two years ago in Dublin and that means that Racing and Saris will have to go away in the semi-finals. Obviously, Racing won't be away. They will play at a neutral venue if uh, the two French sides come through. But Saris, likewise, with a really tough run to the final if this is to be their year. Quarter-finalists, semi-finalists and finalists in the last three seasons if they are to push on and make it a victory this time around. Well, it's going to be a heck of a run, isn't it? So... Let's just confirm that for you. Uh, these semi-finals to be played the weekend, 17th, 18th, 19th of April. Toulon or Wasps will be at home, will have home country advantage, and they will take on Leinster or Bath. Claremont and Northampton, uh, the winner of that tie, will have home country advantage. Obviously, if Racing win, they will play it in a neutral ven venue. Uh, Saris with the struggle. Saris won't enjoy that very much, and neither will Bath. Um, I mean, obviously, all the Premiership sides are on the road. Uh, in the quarterfinals, but we, we are looking potentially at an all French final, are we not? Well, a uh, lot of rugby to you, be played. You, but you'd there is, and, you'd be, and I guess the, the betting man would go that way. The big losers for me this weekend are Northampton. You know, yes. that, now picking up Claremont away from home, which is arguably the hardest place to go. And the big win is Leinster. You know, a home, a home quarter final from kind of nowhere, really, and yeah. uh, and I think they'll be they'll be very pleased with the way things are sitting. It's uh, incredibly right. unlucky. Uh, you know, Toulon. They come out first, uh, you know, ha have that home semi-final if they win the quarter-final as well, and it just puts them in a in a great position. And Claremont as well, um, you know, Leinster if they beat Bath, uh, they've got to go to uh, go okay. to Toulon.